Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 Illustrated Fire tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to install Stop to Pet Ultimate Backup and Computer Light. We're going to also show you guys how to use them inside the game. So let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you all for coming by and watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you guys are also updating it's the same way as installing, all you guys got to do is reinstall everything and that will update it. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys are new to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and smash that like button. Guys, help the channel out by smashing that like button. I'm going to help you install these three plugins so let's go and get into it so the very first thing that you guys want to do is make sure you guys know where your gta 5 main directory is so i'm going to go to steam and i have my grand theft auto 5 through steam so i'm going to go to steam steam library we're going to go to grand theft auto 5 and we're going to right click on grand theft auto 5 we're going to click manage and browse local files again you could go to steam library grand theft auto 5 right click click manage and browse local files and what that would do is pull up your GTA 5 main directory. Inside your GTA 5 main directory, you guys should have a plugins folder, okay? If you guys installed LSPDFR, which you need the LSPDFR for these plugins to work, um, you guys will have a plugins folder in here. So, what we're going to do is start downloading these three plugins. But if you guys do not have anything to open up your zip files, I highly recommend WinRAR. Okay, it will say that you have to pay for it. You do not. It's free. And you guys can go up here to the very top one, WinRAR X64. You can go and download that to your PC. And I'll show you after you download that to your PC, I will show you guys how to open up your files with WinRAR. Okay, so we're going to go and get started. If you guys click over here to the side right here, if you guys have ad blocker up, that will be perfect because it will block the ads that pop up with this. But sometimes there will be ads that pop up with clicking on these. So just be careful. And uh, we're going to go ahead and click on stop to ped right here. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down. So if you scroll all the way down, you'll see an arrow that is pointing down right here. That is going to be the download. So we're going to click on that. And it's going to go ahead and download for us. Okay, so we're going to hit backspace right here. And now we're going to go to ultimate backup. I'm going to hit it right here where it says where we have the U. I'm going to click on that. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down and we're going to go and download this one. So we're going to click that arrow that's pointing down, just like so. And then we're going to go ahead and download Computer Light. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click on that and we're going to go ahead and scroll down. And we're going to hit the arrow that's pointing down, okay? Perfect. Okay, so we have all three of them downloaded. For those of you that are just now getting WinRAR in, this is how you will open up your files through WinRAR. You go type here to search on your taskbar. You'll type in File Explorer, okay? And you'll see it pop up for you. Go over here to where it says downloads and what you want to do so find stop to pet ultimate backup computer light you can click on one right click on it and open with winwar if you downloaded it to your pc you can open with winwar or you could go over here where it says open with and you can open with winwar in here just search through your more apps until you find winwar and you could go ahead and click ok okay so you guys can do that and that's how you open up with winwar and open up your zip files so that's how you guys do that so now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and go to our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. Okay, so what you guys want to do in here is you're going to go to the download right here, which we have Stop to Ped up right now. Okay, so we have Stop to Ped. We're going to go inside the Stop to Ped folder. And in here, you'll have two files. You have Plugins and Rage Native UI. Rage Native UI was updated at 12-19-2021. You always want to make sure that is up to date because sometimes these plugins these creators of the plugins do not update rage native ui and that corrupts some of your files so i always make sure that is up to date by going to rage native ui's site and you guys can see in here it was 28 days ago that was updated so that is correct right there um at 12 19 that is definitely correct 28 days ago so we are on the up to date one rage native ui so what we're going to do is in another way that you guys can do that if you guys just want to go through here and you don't trust the rage native ui one that they have in there you guys can just go here and download rage native ui i will leave the link down in the description go right here where it says rage native ui click on the zip just like this open the file up and you can just look in here and just to make sure that it matches okay so if i go in and pull both downloads up so we have rage native ui right here and we have stop the ped right here so all you want to do is just look at the date on the two. So the date on this one right here is 12, 19, 20, 21. And this one is the same. Okay. So 12, 19, 20, 21. So that Rage Native UI is up to date. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these two files right here, the plugins folder and the Rage Native UI .dll, DLL file. And we're going to take both of these files right here, drag and drop into our GTA 5 main directory. Just like so. We're going to replace the files in the destination. If it doesn't ask you to do that, it's perfectly fine. Just drag and drop in there. If it does ask you to replace, go in and click replace. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and pull up our ultimate backup. So we are going to go ahead and go type here to search. We'll go File Explorer, go to Downloads, and we could go over here to Ultimate Backup. 
we're going to click on that and we're going to open that up and we'll also open up computer light while we're in here so let's go and click on that perfect and there we go so for ultimate backup what we're going to do is go ahead and click inside the folder and all we have to do and again if you guys look at this this is exactly what i was just talking about if you look at the raids native ui file in here okay it says 8 1 2021 that is out of date and that's what i was talking about right there you guys need to pay attention to the date right here on these raids native ui files because the creator did not update that one so do not put that one in all you want to do out of the ultimate backup file is what you want to do is take this folder right here that says plugins drag and drop into your gta 5 main directory just like so and again do not touch that raids native ui file inside this one because it is out of date okay it's 8 1 2021 and the one that we have okay on stop the pet is 12 19 2021 so that one's way out of date so perfect so this is the stop the pet one we can go and x out of that this is the ultimate backup and again make sure you guys go to your plugins folder make sure you're not hovered over anything or clicked on anything just make sure you're over here and again what you guys want to do with the ultimate backup is take the plugins folder drag and drop over here click replace the files in the destination and there you guys go okay so if it does not like i said if it does not say anything about replacing files in the destination you guys are perfectly fine okay so what we're going to do is we are going to take the next download which is going to be the computer light and we're going to go inside this folder and again raise native ui is way out of date on this one it's 12 17 2021 that is insane that's why you guys just pay attention to that so all we're going to do in this one is going to take the plugins folder drag and drop over here okay replace the file and destination just like so there we go we have all three of them installed now i'm going to show you guys how to change the keys because if you do not change the keys you're going to have menus that pop up with each other and it's really really annoying so i'm going to go inside my plugins folder i'm going to go over here to lspdfr and we're going to go ahead and find so we're going to find ultimate backup and you'll see ultimate backup right here and you'll see like a blank piece of paper with a gear icon next to it so we're going to right click on that we're going to click edit and you can edit with notepad okay and what we're going to do is we're going to go right here. It says toggle menu key B. So inside game, if you hit B, it's going to bring up the LSPDFR backup menu. You don't want that. Okay. So I'm going to backspace and you guys can make this any letter that you want. Any letter that you want. You don't have to follow what I do, but I highly recommend you change it from B. Okay. I'm going to make mine a capital O. Okay. A capital O. Just like that. I'm going to go up here to file and I'm going to click save. Just like so. I'm going to click X. And now what we're looking for is stop the pad. So stop the pad right here, a blank piece of paper and a gear icon next to it. I'm going to right click on that and we are going to go ahead and go to edit. We're going to edit with notepad. And this one is E. I'm going to go and change it from E to K. So I'm going to make it a capital K. And again, you guys can use any letter or anything that you do not use on your keyboard inside game. You can use it for this. I use the letter K for stop the pad. So there we go. We're going to click file and click save. Click X, and then we're going to go over here to Computer Light. And right here, you have a blank piece of paper with a gear icon. I'm going to right-click on it. I'm going to click Edit, and I'm going to go over here and change this key. So if you guys look at these keys, Stop the Ped and Computer Light both have the um, open menu as E. So they would have overlapped with each other, and that's annoying. Okay, so I'm going to delete the E, and I'm going to make it a capital L, okay? A capital L. All right, I'm going to click file and I'm going to click save just like so we're going to click X on that and there you guys go So you guys do have that in and if we go over here to These right here, we're going to go ahead and just make sure So if we go through here It just we're just going to make sure that we don't need anything else Make sure that he doesn't say anything else needed for this And everything should be good Stop the pad. Let's go through here basically stop the pad blah 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 Okay, so one last thing that we're going to go ahead and download is going to be script hook V. Okay, I want you guys to go ahead and install this to get the most updated script hook V. So I will leave the link down in the description for you guys. So what you're going to do is go here to this site right here. We're going to click download on this. And we are going to go ahead and open file. And what we are going to do is go inside this bin folder. Okay, I'm going to pull up my GTA 5 main directory. We're going to go up here to Grand Theft Auto 5 up at the top. I'm going to click on that just like I did right there, guys. Do the same thing. Okay, and then we're going to pull this download up, which will be script hook V. If you guys did not see where I went to download that, you just go right here where it says download. Okay, and you click download and it'll pop up for you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go inside the bin folder and we're going to take these three files right here. These three files and we're going to drag and drop into our GTA 5 main directory. 
All right, so we're gonna take these three files, drag and drop inside of GTA 5 main directory, just like so. Place the files in the destination, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and jump inside GTA 5. I'm gonna show you guys how to load these plugins up and how to use them inside the game. So let's go ahead and jump inside the game real fast. We're inside GTA 5. I'm gonna show you how to work Soft Pet Ultimate right. Backup in Computer Light. The very first thing that we are gonna do, Damn. you guys can hit your pause menu. You can go to LSPDFR right here. And you could go over to character and then go to nearest police station hit enter it's going to take me to the police station that i'm already at which is perfect but i want you guys to go ahead and hit e okay so once you're at the police station go ahead and hit e and what you guys are going to do is go inside here and make sure you guys go on duty okay so make sure you guys go in and click go on duty what that's going to do is load up all your plugins for you and then go to your police garage and just grab you a police car which is fine any police car will do then uh, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and just grab us a uh, police car. So let me go over here to components. I'm gonna turn everything off. Perfect. And we're gonna select and continue. So once you go on duty, it's gonna load up all your plugins for you. And then stop to pet ultimate backup and computer light will be loaded up for you, which is perfect. Okay. So we're gonna go through some stuff on, on the vehicle and through stop to pet. So if you guys remember, stop to pet is the letter K. That's what we changed it up to. Backup is the letter O, and for the letter L will be computer light. So, what we are doing is we are going to go ahead and head to the trunk of our car. So, if you head to the trunk of your car and you hit the letter G, as in GOAT, hit the letter G, you guys can grab your rifle, you can grab shotgun, you can replenish ammo, armor, and health, okay? You can grab traffic cones, you can grab a fire extinguisher. You can do evidence checks. So say we stop someone and they have drugs on them or inside their vehicle, we could do a narcotics field test to see what it comes back positive for and then charge them properly for what they had. Um, for weapon serial number check, you guys, if you get a weapon off someone, you can do the serial number check and it will tell you either if the, the gun is stolen or it would also tell you if the serial number is scratched off of the gun. You can also request tow. So if we walk over here to this vehicle right here, so if I walk over here, I can walk up to the vehicle and I can hit the letter G. So if I hit the letter G as in GOAT, you guys can go ahead and obtain plate number. You can request tow. You can search vehicle, request vehicle check. So if I do request vehicle check on this vehicle, it's going to run the plate for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click enter. And it's going to go ahead and run that plate for me. Target vehicle license plate. Zero five zebra Frank Sam five four niners. A traffic violation if i walk Approach up to the vehicle caution. and i press the letter g i can search the vehicle by hitting enter over search the vehicle just like that and now we could search the vehicle okay a rat brick containing brown powder so we do have a rat brick containing brown powder right here in front of the police station so i'm gonna head over to my vehicle right here i'm gonna go to the trunk of my vehicle i'm gonna hit the letter g again we're gonna go to narcotics field test and right here, we have a rat brick containing brown powder. We're gonna see what that is. So you have cocaine, heroin, methamphetamine, you have fentanyl and PCP. So let's see what it's gonna be. I believe it's gonna be heroin, methamphetamine, or possibly crack cocaine. Uh, it is coming back for heroin. So you see right there, it says positive for heroin. So perfect. So we did find drugs inside the vehicle. What we can do is, okay, so say, say you have, uh, if you guys want a canine, so we're going to go and walk through ultimate backup and all that good stuff here in a second. But let's go and walk up to the vehicle real fast. And we'll go through K9 here in a little bit. So I'm going to hit the letter G on the vehicle and I'm going to go in and request tow for the vehicle. So I'm going to request tow and we're going to go in and call in for a large flatbed truck. Flatbed, assistance required in Rockford Hill. So we have a tow truck coming in. If you see that tow truck behind me, that is going to be the tow truck. It's taking forever to get to you guys. You guys can hold backspace down. Hold backspace down and now you can see it's even closer to us and it's going to pick this vehicle up so we're going to go ahead and tow that vehicle and now the vehicle has been towed for this vehicle right here so we can walk up to the back of this vehicle and i'm going to go ahead inside my vehicle and i'll show you real fast so once i get inside my vehicle if i hold down l if i hold down l this will bring up computer light for me you'll see right here vehicle records the only thing we have in there is a buffalo okay but if i walk up to this vehicle in front of me and hit the letter g and obtain plate number right there so i obtain plate number and it gives me the plate number i can walk back to my vehicle hit the letter l and i could go vehicle records and it will show me this suv right here this suv is invalid it's unregistered it should not be on our roads 
Okay, so we can tow that vehicle also. Okay. When you pull a vehicle over, so say you already have the vehicle pulled over, you do not have to walk up to the vehicle and obtain plate number. If you have the vehicle pulled over and they pulled over for you, you can just hold L down and you'll be able to go to vehicle records and it will show up just like this for you. Okay. So as long as you have that vehicle pulled over and they pulled over for you, then you will be able to just go to vehicle records and you'll see. And then you can also go right here where it says view owner record, which I won't be able to view owner record because the plate's invalid on this vehicle. Um, but you could click view owner record and we'll show you that here in a second. Um, but again, that vehicle right there is coming back invalid. So we can go ahead and tow that vehicle. So we can go ahead and hit the letter G and you could search a vehicle and then tow the vehicle. It's up to you call vehicle insurance. You could slow down traffic, stop traffic and go from there. Okay. So we can walk up to our vehicle. So a lot of people have this problem when they install stop to pet and I want to go over it real fast. Okay. I had a lot of people that brought this up to me. Okay. So it says right here, if you hit the letter G, it says disable realistic weapon system. So if I hit the, um, if I go in here and get a weapon, so I say I want an AP pistol. Okay. If you look at my menu right here. Okay. All I have is a pistol and I have a stun gun and then I have a flare. I'm not allowed having anything else because I'm on realistic weapon system. So anytime you see law enforcement, they have a pistol, they have a taser, and then they have a rifle and a shotgun in their car. Okay, they do not have any other weapons. So if I hit G on my vehicle and disable realistic weapon system, and then I go and spawn this weapon in right here, AP pistol, you'll see I have the AP pistol now, okay? I do have the AP pistol. But if I go in here, okay, if I hit the letter G, and I enable realistic weapon system, it's gonna take the AP pistol away from me. It's not gonna let me have the AP pistol anymore. So if you guys do not want realistic weapon system on, you wanna use your own weapons, just hit G and disable realistic weapon system. For traffic cones, let me go over that real fast. If you guys hit the letter G, and you guys go over here to grab traffic cones and hit enter, just like this. You guys can set traffic cones. So if you look down in front of me, I will have, let me go ahead and press G. I'm gonna deploy traffic cones. So it's gonna go right here in front of me, just like so. So I could keep walking forward. And for some reason that, that, that actually uh, glitched out right there. That's kind of weird. I'm not used to that. Go ahead and store traffic cones. All right, let me put that back in there and we're gonna re-grab it, okay? If it ever does that, just re-grab them. Just like this, and we'll grab them right there. All right, perfect. So, we're gonna go right here. We're gonna hit the letter G and deploy traffic cone. All right, traffic cone's not working. I don't know what's going on with traffic cone. Um, it's just not working. So we can remove all cones, just like so we can store it back into our trunk right there. Um, traffic cones, it just might be glitched out right now. That's perfectly fine. That's how you guys do it. You just hit G, go in there, grab traffic cones, hit G again to deploy the traffic cones, and then you can hit G to uh, go ahead and pick them all up. Okay, so we're just gonna skip that step. I do apologize about that. So let's go ahead and get into stopping pedestrians, okay? So one, you could stop them on the, uh, like pull them over or you can stop them on the street so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull over here and we have a traffic stop right here but i'm going to go ahead and stop this lady and we're going to get her number but we are going to go ahead and walk up to her so if you hit k twice on your keyboard so hit k twice wow. that's going to stop Hold this up. female right here okay so we now have her stop if i hit the letter k i can ask for identification so ask for identification i can ask for driver's license hunting license fishing license um so we could just do that so i'm gonna ask her for her id let's see some id huh just Thanks. like so all right jenny sandusky is her name and i can hit the letter k again and i can request ped check from dispatch over my radio that i have on me or i can grab ped and i can cuff ped so we're gonna go and arrest ped and she's gonna take off from me she has a what's your issue let me see them hands Police! Down Let's down. see some hands up! All right, so she tried to fight me. She didn't want to give me the number. It's all good. It's all good. Cause she's gonna go to jail, and I'm gonna get the number anyways. All right, we're gonna go ahead and place her in custody, just like this. And we're gonna go ahead and place her in custody. Now, what we can do is hit the letter K. 
So we get the letter K right here and we can go ahead and grab her. Okay, so you grab her like this. If you don't want to grab her anymore, you can hold uh, hit K and then release grab head. If we hit the letter O, we can call in for a female unit to come search this female. So we got code two right here. So the letter O. I'm gonna call on a female unit to come assist me. Backup needed in Rockford Hill. And what we're gonna do is have this female unit come search her. So we're gonna see a female unit. If they're taking forever to get to you, you guys can hold backspace down. So hold backspace down and they're gonna spawn right there. Okay, so now that we have this female unit on scene, we're gonna wait until they walk up to us. We're gonna hit the letter K and we're gonna Come go to pat coming. down head. All right, and you're gonna see right here, it's gonna give us an option when she walks up to us. It's gonna be by my buddy, okay? So we're gonna have this female Hello. go and search her by hitting enter. And this female unit's gonna go and search her. Obviously as a male, you don't wanna search a female because that will be a lawsuit. All right, so she just searched her. We found a small revolver. Now at this time, this female right here is gonna go to jail for resisting. I'm gonna go ahead and put her in my vehicle. She has a handgun on her. I'm gonna go ahead and place her in the vehicle. So if you if you go ahead and hit K, okay, hit K and we can go right here and it says nil pad down or you can grab or make the pad follow you. Okay, we're gonna do grab. And then once you walk up to your vehicle, you can go ahead and put the suspect in the rear seat by walking up to the rear doors on your police vehicle. And we can go ahead and put her in the rear seat, just like so. You can put her in the front seat, or you can release her. It's okay, cool. we're going to put her inside the vehicle, just like that. All right, if you want her out of your vehicle. Nice. So first, let's start with the uh, backup unit right here. So say you don't want the backup unit here no more. You can hold down enter, just like so. So if you hold down enter, that you, them units will get back in the vehicle and take off. So now that we have this female inside our vehicle we can go ahead and head to the back of our vehicle we found a gun on her so i'm gonna head to the back of my vehicle i'm gonna go to the trunk and i'm gonna go ahead and go to evidence check we're gonna go to weapon serial check so it's gonna be a serial number check and what we're gonna do is hit enter on small revolver dispatch is gonna run the serial number check for us and the gun does come back to Janie sandusky Alright, so now what we're gonna do is hop inside my vehicle. And we're gonna go hit, we're gonna hold L down. So if you hold down L, it's gonna bring up your police computer. So it's gonna be a computer light. So we could go ped records, Jenny Sandusky. She does have a license to carry a concealed weapon. She is valid, and we're gonna go ahead and give her arrest report for it's going to be nonviolent crimes, and it's going to be obstruction of justice she's uh, prevent me from performing my duties by getting her number okay so i'm gonna submit them charges and if you guys do not want to transport her okay if you look on the map right here we have these little bars right here that's custody drop off so you could drop the suspect off this is the closest jail you could drop the suspect off or you can have someone come transport the female okay so if i step outside the vehicle I can go over here to the side of the vehicle. You can do this inside the vehicle, too. You don't have to be on the outside of the vehicle. You can be inside the vehicle. As long as they're inside your vehicle, you can hit the letter G. But every time I hit the letter G, it turns my siren on. But I could call transport for suspect right there. You see it says call transport. By hitting the letter G, you can do that. And then hit enter. Assistance required in Rockford Hill. So now we have transport coming to get this female. Okay, so transport's going to come get her, transport her to the closest jail. If you guys don't like doing transport, you don't have to do it. They will transport this female for you or any suspect that you have. And there we go. So this uh, sheriff unit's going to go and transport this female. She's going to walk up to my vehicle and grab this female. And they're going to go ahead and take her. Perfect. Now what I want to show you guys something that's really, really cool that Waste I love is if you guys hold down L, even though this female is right next to us, she can wait until she leaves just for RP scenarios and stuff. Um, but you can hold down L and you can go to court cases and we just arrested this female right here. Okay. So we charge her for obstruction of justice. All right. Right here. We can reveal outcome. Okay. Reveal outcome. And you'll see what she gets charged for it. So if you charge people for murder, they'll get life in prison. If you charge people for drugs, they'll get time in prison she was fined 932 dollars and no prison time for obstruction of justice it's just a misdemeanor 
okay so we get to see what actually comes from this okay from arresting people so that's really really cool all right so let's go ahead and show you guys the partner mod i want you guys to um if you guys want a partner so let me go ahead and change time up sorry about that guys i thought i'd freeze the time all right i'm gonna freeze time right there all right so if you guys want the partner if you guys want a partner to roll with you you can do canine or you can just do a regular partner so if you hit the letter o so we hit the letter O, you have code two in here. So you have a patrol unit um, come help you out. Or you can do code three units and you got ambulance, you got fire department. And uh, so you can have them come. You got first respond, uh, responder medic. You can do air ambulance also if you guys want. So right here, you have a partner. If you guys go to here to spawn partner with player's outfit, what that does is basically spawns. What it does is it spawns the player, your partner with your outfit that you're wearing, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You can also change their gun up. You can make it where their gun is the same as your gun, or you can change their gun. Um, I'm gonna have them have the same handgun as me. So we're gonna go in the spawn partner with player's outfit. Covering you. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna have a partner right here that has the same outfit as me, which is really, really cool. You always wanna match. And what you guys can do, okay, to hop inside your vehicle, to get your unit inside the vehicle, you can hop inside your vehicle. And you can see my partner is not gonna get in the vehicle with me. He's just not. But if I hit the letter T, he will hop inside the vehicle with me. So the letter T as in Tom. Okay, if I hop outside the vehicle, he's gonna hop outside the vehicle with me, just like that. Okay, it's the same thing for canine, but it's a little bit different with canine. So if you go over here to canine partner, you could spawn canine partner. You could get shepherd, you could do rottweiler, you could do husky. What I'm gonna do is husky and I'm gonna spawn canine partner in, just like this. So now we have a canine partner. If you hit the letter O and go to canine partner right here, you can change the color of your dog, whatever you want your dog to look like. Some um, like mods that I, I show you how to install for canine have vests, and you could change the color of their vest up and all that good stuff. So my canine is right here. I'm gonna walk up to the back of my vehicle. Even though I do not have a canine patrol unit, um, I'm just showing you guys how to do this, okay? So if I hit the letter T, go hit the letter T right here. My canine is gonna hop inside the vehicle. So you walk up to the back passenger door of your vehicle and hit the letter T and your dog will hop in there. To get your dog outside of the vehicle, you can hit the letter T again, okay? And your dog will hop outside the vehicle, just like that. All right, so what we wanna do is put the canine inside the vehicle. I'm gonna show you how to run the canine around a vehicle. So let's go ahead and do that. Canine's gonna get back inside the vehicle and we're gonna show you how to run the canine around a vehicle if you guys wanna use canine. So we're gonna let him get in there. He's a little bit glitched out, which is fine. You just push him like that. Okay. So I'm gonna go and get my partner inside here. I'm gonna get my partner inside the vehicle. I'm gonna go and pull this vehicle over right here. All right, so we're gonna go and pull this vehicle over right here. And get them over to the right. Nice ride and stuff. All right, well, they're gonna stop in the middle of the intersection, which is not great. I'm just gonna have a pull all the way over here in the grass so I don't get interrupted while I'm trying to teach you guys this stuff. Um, so, if I hit good, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk up on this vehicle. So now that we have this vehicle stopped, okay, we don't have to walk up, obtain a plate number or anything like that. We can hold L down. So since we have the vehicle stopped, you can hold L down, you can go vehicle records, okay? And we have this car right here, the Mascaro stopped. All right, and everything is valid. Registration is valid, insurance is valid. And if it wasn't, it would tell you. And if it was a stolen vehicle, it would also tell you. The register owners right here, we're gonna hit view owner record. He has an arrest warrant for possession of controlled substance, okay? So this guy's going to jail regardless if he is the uh, registered owner of the vehicle. So we're gonna go and walk up inside the vehicle. So we're gonna walk to the side. You're gonna see my partial pass. Oh, 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 here we go. So hands up, dropped the gun. There he goes, he dropped it. All right, so we have a male that just hopped out with his gun. You see my partner is on him. My partner does not play. Um, so you can see right here, if I hit the letter G over this male right here, I can go and search the body and make sure you don't have any more weapons. What we're gonna do is just make sure you don't have any more weapons before we call an EMS. Okay, so he does have a bag EMF and blue crystals. What we're gonna do is hit the letter O. 
and we can go ahead and call in for code three ambulance. We're gonna get an ambulance on scene. Ambulance, assistance required in Burton. We can also hit the letter G while you're over next to the body and you can either drag the body or you can tend to injure pet. Okay, so you can help the, uh, the suspect out and try to keep them alive. That is up to you. Okay, and cops are trained for this stuff, so in real life they would obviously make sure that the male doesn't have any more weapons, make sure no one else is inside the vehicle and try to uh, stop the bleeding and keep the male alive until EMS gets on scene and does their job. All right, give so me EMS something. is on scene, we're gonna see what they could do for this male. My partner took him out. Like I saw my partner pull the gun and I was like, oh my God, what's going on? So we, uh, we're gonna go ahead and let him do that right there. I know this is taking a while, guys. I just want you guys to learn all the basics about Stop the Pet Ultimate Vacuum Computer Light. Um, so you guys can see right there, this male is gonna Didn't be deceased. Get here in time. So you can walk up to the male, hit the letter G if they are deceased, okay? So walk up right here next to the oh, male, just hit the letter G, and you can go ahead and request corner unit. Assistance required in uh, Burton. All right, so corner unit is going to show up, and they're going to go and get the body out of here. Then I'm going to show you how to run the canine around the vehicle. It's actually very, very simple, too. He knew he had a warrant for his arrest, but I can't believe he shot at me. My partner took him out, though. My partner is looking at him standing over there. Just killed someone. He's just over there chilling. But uh, <laughs> we're going to get uh, corner to go in and get the body out of here. And what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to go in and run canine around the vehicle. Obviously, we already have probable cause to search the vehicle. The dude was going to jail and all that, but I still want to show you guys how to um, run the canine around the vehicle. As long as corners will hurry up. There they go. All right, so what you guys can do is you can walk up to the driver's side of the vehicle as soon as these guys move out of my way. There we go. So walk up to the driver's side of the vehicle and you guys can hit the letter T. As long as you have a canine, you can hit the letter T. All right, so I'm going to get my canine out of the vehicle. Come on, buddy. Get the canine out of the vehicle by hitting the letter T next to my door. My canine's going to hop out. Then you're going to go ahead and walk up to the side of the vehicle, the driver's side, and we're going to press T. And what the canine is going to do is go ahead and run around the vehicle, and it will let you know if it alerts to the vehicle. Just like so so the dog is going to the driver's side he's going to go around to the passenger side and you'll see if the dog alerts to the vehicle you'll see right here and it also lets you know in a little menu that the dog alerted or it did not alert all right so canine partner alerted to the vehicle you have probable cause to search the vehicle okay so we're going to go ahead and put our canine back inside the vehicle so we're going to press the letter T. And our dog's going to hop back inside the vehicle just like this. And then we could close the door. Perfect. I'm going to close my door. We're going to walk up on this vehicle and we're going to press the letter G. We can hit the letter G or you can hit F10 on your keyboard. So if you hit F10, you can go and search the vehicle without having to go through a menu. A bag of shrooms and a duffel bag full of money. So there you guys go. All right, guys. I mean, I believe I walked over everything that you guys need to know. If you knew long, if you no longer want your partners, you get the letter O. You could go to Canine Partner, D Spawn Canine Partner. Your Canine Partner would disappear. If you no longer want this partner right here, you can either walk up to him face to face, hold you to dismiss, or you can hit the letter O, go to Partner, and dismiss all partners. And what your partner would do is just Hello, walk away hey, as if. All right, but uh, we are going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you all for coming by and watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. If you did and this does help, you definitely smash the like button. You guys have fun. Enjoy this. We'll see you guys on the next one.